Maryland football's signing day includes just one player to cap 2018 Clive.SS. As Maryland coach D.J. Durkin gushed over his 2018 recruiting class during the inaugural early national signing day in late December, he knew he still had work to do. He had about a month before the traditional national signing day, which commenced on Wednesday morning, to find a cornerback to help solidify the future of his secondary. But Durkin had already been recruiting Kenrick Montgomery Jr. for months on end, checking in on the talented Tampa prospect whenever he could. In the end, that's probably what won out, Durkin said on Wednesday as he celebrated the signing of Montgomery, a four-star cornerback who chose the Terrapins over Nebraska, Louisville and UCLA. A lot of teams were making a run at him late, but we had built a good relationship. Our coaching staff did a great job. That comfort level, that relationship is what held us up in the end. See the rest of Maryland's 2018 recruiting class for star CB Ken Montgomery Jr. is going to be a Maryland Terrapin. Pick.twitter.com slash 5 Joe Tuesday 2, Kelly Parsons, at underscore Kelly Parsons, February 7, 2018 Montgomery's decision to sign was a key recruiting victory for Durkin who in January had lost a commitment from H.D. Woodson star cornerback Noah Boykin. Boykin pledged to Notre Dame on Wednesday, but Maryland is encouraged by what it is acquiring in Montgomery, a 6'1", 165-pound defensive back who becomes the third player ranked ESPN's top 300 to join the Terrapins 2018 class. Maryland's class, heavy with offensive and defensive line prospects, had only one other defensive back sign in December, Boykin's H.D. Woodson teammate, Vincent Flythe. Ken is unique in that he has great movement skills, along with length. A lot of the time you look at corners, it's either one or the other. Sometimes you find those unique guys that have both, Durkin said. You mix that with his tremendous ball skills. We think we got a great one here. Montgomery was the lone Maryland player to sign on Wednesday, filling an important need and leaving Durkin with an idea of how he wants to conduct his recruiting in the years to come. He'd rather sign the bulk of his class during the early period and fill one or two holes in his roster each February. That would be the blueprint. I don't know if it would play that way every year. It's kind of case by case based, Durkin said. But overall I can feel that probably how it's going to go, and I think that's good. On college football signing day, the fax machine finally goes the way of the single wing Montgomery's signing bumped Maryland to number 26 in national recruiting rankings conducted by 247sports.com. It also reflects his continued commitment to recruiting the Washington area. Of the 23 signees, 15 played at local high schools, and also Florida. The hall includes Byron Cowart, a Tampa native and former number one prospect in 2015 who left Auburn last year, as well as wide receiver Jeshwan Jones and outside linebacker Fanaji Gote, both of whom hail from the Fort Mayors area. Those players all signed in December. More college sports, National Signing Day 2018 Running list of where top D.C. area players are committing the Baylor scandal hasn't kept Kendall Bryles from the recruiting trail in Texas Bractology. Cincinnati is tough to figure. Terps are on wrong side of the bubble. Virginia's bigs came up that way, showing off Cavaliers.